mud, mud. I love your sound. I'm absolutely, positively wild about mud. I can't go around. And uh, some some even say that pineapples were growing in Russia in I 19. Don't... I don't know if it's true or not. I, did, I haven't researched it yet, but the information is from some sources that I kind of trust. So I just suppose they are not lying to me. Wow, pineapples in Russia. What a deep, disturbing conspiracy. Nothing could prove flat earth and mud floods better than a pineapple being grown in Russia. It must take a lot of effort to dig up these hidden truths. It couldn't be as easy as, say, googling pineapples in Russia and finding a video of some monks growing them. Yeah, what, what, what about the elephants that they call mammoths right now? Because just they had hair, it doesn't mean it was so cold that they, like we have right now. So probably, where did they have the, all those, uh, you know, food growing if it was uh, totally uh, Siberian cold weather? No food for elephant. The elephant eats a bunch of food. And if, if you have like a tribe of elephants, a clan of elephants, just right. imagine how, how much they eat. Right. How much plant? Yeah, how much plants you actually need? To, uh, oh, yeah. What in the royal fuck are you talking about now? Woolly mammoths somehow prove that ancient times weren't cold because they were big and had to eat a lot. We have fallen so far off the mud flood wagon, the original concept of this entire conversation. I have no idea where the fuck we're heading. I never would have pictured in my wildest imagination we'd be talking about woolly mammoths. What the fuck? We have a we have a, a cartoon in America about uh, you know some guys living in the Stone Age, Flintstones, right? Flintstones, yeah. yeah. Flintstones, right? Yeah. 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 All this crap that they've given us about the Flintstones. Yeah, yeah, it's all nonsense. It's all, it's all, it's all, it's all, it's all bullshit. Oh my God. Yeah, everybody pays. Wilma, why can't you be more accurate about the weather conditions of the supposedly cold tundra that wasn't cold because woolly mammoths eat a lot of vegetables and obviously didn't live there? The Flintstones must be nothing but propaganda designed to hide the truth of the mud flood. I am so blessed that we have these truth seekers, these three truth seekers here, to help fight the good fight for us. You know what's scary though, my mind? I don't know what's scary. I don't know if it's the mud or the instant free, free I mean, the instant freeze. I don't know what's scary. Is it the the, the liquid mud or the freeze or, or both? I mean, just think about it. Just it's think. simultaneous. It can, it can be you know, it's one after another, just like a couple yes. of minutes. Wow. So now there was a freeze and it somehow alternated with mud floods? Some sort of cyclical events only minutes in length? What does all this have to do with the ancient technology we've been, I guess, talking about? Or maybe these old Russian towns you keep showing photos of? Or are we talking about mammoths? Or are we talking about the Flintstones? How are we going to tie all these seemingly disparaging threads together? And what I'm thinking is, is that something happened to the power grid back then. Something happened, man. Where it, it, right, right. Where it changes something, right. Something happened, explosions, vibrations, tsunamis, uh, instant freeze. I don't know. Yeah, no, no. We, we. So it seems like we are going with that there was a freeze that was apparently being held back by some ancient civilization. But when the civilization had a power outage, they died from mud floods that froze and thawed on a cycle of minutes. And I guess the Flintstone should have been telling us this back in the 60s and 70s. I am so confused. So this is just a simplified chemical reaction which immediately has lower temperature in some areas and that's why we see so many eyes on, on, on this planet. 
in case you want to accuse me of taking their words out of context and rearranging stuff, the original video is linked below. These three gentlemen really do run everywhere with this story. For example, now apparently there is some reaction that caused cold to form in the Arctic area. Again, these pictures are from northern Russia, right? Some completely unnamed endothermic reaction on some countrywide scale happened that caused snow and this happened because power outage and something and Flintstones and mammoths. Any questions? That's why we have so many ice and all those uh, lands frozen and in Siberia we have cold weather because they changed the temperature decreasing the uh, the volume of the gas and made it more oh, dense oh, and see. selected as ice and moisture in, inside it. Trying to keep it that way. That Cold weather is the result of some unknown and unnamed evil doing some unknown and unnamed chemical reaction to create snow to prevent pineapple growth in Russia. I'd love to give you a more in-depth response to the accusations being presented here but this is just such trash i don't it's hard to respond to less the pressure the smaller the guy you know if we have uh, more pressure of the air we would be growing a lot uh, you know taller than we are than we were before so they know what but he's, that, I mean, that's his argument, Martin. His argument is is that the pressure, which kind of it actually it actually kind of resonates with me a little bit, um, that that the lower the pressure, that's why the bone structure, you know, that's why we don't have really you know big humanoids anymore, is because of. Me, have I thought a lot over the last year or so? Right, and they knew this. Right, is that reason right. why we, bigger trees were bigger, people were bigger? Ah, uh, now we're getting somewhere. This unknown, unnamed evil used an unknown, unnamed chemical reaction to create snow because snow increases pressure. And this increased pressure stunts human growth. So snow stops giants. I guess Game of Thrones had it all wrong. Must have modeled Game of Thrones off the Flintstones. We coexisted with giants and all the giants don't have to be Nephilim. They're just big humanoids. Why they grew taller, in, in fact, they grew taller because we had a lo um, longer lives. And during the lives, we had longer cycles of youth, longer cycle of, of uh, you know, being grown up and longer cycles of being elder. Well, it is true that human height usually relates to when puberty starts. Humans do not grow as they age. You seem to be confusing humans with reptiles. Did these three forget that lizard people were actually the bad guys? Yeah, maybe days were shorter as well, so, you know, like, you know, different many hours as well. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? You three obviously do not know. If the weather, if the weather was uh, better, and if we had better, uh, more, uh, you know, uh, more pressure of air, who knows who could, what could be changing, in fact, because maybe they had better health, maybe they had, you know, whatever. We don't know. Well, just maybe this whole place is set at a certain frequency, man, and they notice and they change the frequency, man. That's all I think it is, and I think that's what the cause exactly. is. Exactly. Well, that's what all the lot of chaos means. They exactly, the exactly. Yeah. They knew the right frequency, they changed it, that's what's keeping everything crazy. Ah, so now we're jumping ship again, from chemical reactions to frequency. Those who are unknown and unnamed have changed the frequency from pro giants and pineapples to a modern frequency which is apparently anti giants and pineapples okay whatever can't wait to see where this goes <laughs> 